on you guys? It is Erica Bernie finally coming back with another video. So today's topic is about quitting at reception. You're going to have many videos out here that's talking about quitting at basic training. So you're wondering what's the difference with reception and basic training. So when you get shipped off to MAPS, you actually go to reception. That's your first place that you're going to have to go through. And reception is where you, all the paperwork that you have to go through and make sure your pay is correct. That's going to whomever it needs to get to. Um, your name is completely correct. Your social, that's where you get your OCPs, all the other uniforms that you need to get in order to go through basic combat training. That's where all of that medical stuff happens right there because they want to make sure you're ready to go to basic training so you don't have to worry about those small little things when you actually get to basic training because there's going to be so much stress that you have to deal with in basic training that you don't want to deal with a small am I getting paid or is it actually going through or am I the right rank all, all small little stuff so you have to go to the reception in order to go through basic training and, and so many people tend to quit or not want to go through basic training because they get to reception and they're like this is not for me how can you really know it's not for you when you just get a reception and all it is paperwork and just having a different small schedule I can also tell you yes when I went through basic training and I went to reception it was actually during almost night time so all I did was get my uniforms and then get to the barracks and go to sleep so it was it was different and I I didn't like how different it was because I was thinking I could be in my own bed I can or I can be out with my friends or I could be eating this or I can be watching TV instead of just sleeping and there's nothing on or just just here it was it was an eye-opener for me but deep down I already knew what I wanted to do and I realized this is just reception there's no point of being like this is not for me when I haven't actually gone through basic training yet it does happen I'm not saying it doesn't happen I'm not saying people don't rethink about joining the military once they actually get to reception but I can tell you don't use reception as the freaking um, cover of your book when you actually haven't actually read the book yet because the book might be super great but the, but the cover is not what it seems so the main reason why people tend to quit in reception is because they're homesick they they realize what they had at home and they took it for granted and now they're at reception and they're like I want what I have at home I want to go home I want to be in a comfortable position instead of being in the uncomfortable where you're having to do with timelines waking up early waking or going to sleep at a certain time waking up in the middle of the night to pull a fire guard or eating at, eating at noon or whatever time it is for chow they're not used to a set schedule and they want to go back to their own little schedule that they had where they got to pick and choose what they wanted to do every single day they're not used to the yelling and they don't like the people around they're not used to it. again they're in the uncomfortable and that's the main thing that the military is going to give you the first the first thing is getting used to the uncomfortable because that's how life is it's not always gonna be comfortable because if you're just sitting at home with your parents every single day and that's comfortable for you you're not gonna be doing the bigger thing out there in life so people just think they want to quit because they're just not used to all the little things that are about to happen and they're like if this is just reception how is basic training going to be but I can honestly tell you reception sucks it sucks people always say the worst part they had in basic training was reset because they wanted to go to basic training because all the fun stuff all the fun stuff all the obstacles all the training all the stuff that makes your day go faster happens in, ba in basic training you go through reception you go through paperwork and that's the slow time that's when you're like oh i want to go i want to do something i want to do this and that but you have to you're having to deal with the boring stuff because when you get to basic training that's the time where you're focused on that not the little small stuff that you actually that's actually really important so main advice i can give you is that reception is less than one week is at least less than one week so some Suck it up for a freaking less than one week. Suck it up because if you quit in a reception, you're gonna you're going to regret it for the rest of your life. You really are because you're gonna go through reception. You're gonna get out. You're gonna be like, yeah, I quit at reception, and someone's gonna ask you, wait, you didn't go through basic training yet, and you're gonna be like, no, it just it just wasn't for me. How can like I said, how can you know the army isn't for you if you haven't gone through basic training or whatever whatever branch that you're going through? Reception needs to happen. It needs to happen. Point blank, simple. It just needs to happen because that's where they make sure. Like I said, they make sure you are good to go and in order to go through basic combat training. Another thing I can tell you, people quit reception because they think that it's going to send them home the next day or the next week. For the most part, quitting at reception will prolong your time there. You may think, maybe in two weeks I'll go home. No, you're still going to have to go through all the things. You're, you're probably just gonna be stuck at reception and just have to deal with everything that's happening there. You'll still have to wake up for formation. You'll still have to eat chow at whatever chow time it is. You'll have to go to sleep whenever they say go to sleep. You'll still have to pull fire guard. You'll still have to do all this little things all these little details that will they will put you on because you're in reception and you just stuck there and they need you they need to put you to work so thinking quitting at reception won't prolong your time there you'll be out there after you say you 
quit. No, you'll still have to be in the same schedule until you leave. You might even be there for more than 10 weeks and then you get out and you're like, I should have just gone through basic training because I went through the 10 weeks anyways. Might as well have been a soldier instead of just getting out and being, being stuck at reception for 10 weeks or whatever weeks it is. So main thing I can tell you is just don't quit. Do not quit. If you think, most part of you thinks this isn't for me. I don't want to join anymore. I don't want to do this. I don't want to ship out. Don't do it. Don't raise your right hand the last time you go to MEPS. Don't get on that flight. Don't go. Just don't do it if you really feel like it isn't for you. If you feel like this is like, eh, this is just like a little phase that one go through and then you get there and then you quit. Just don't do it. If you actually get to the point where you actually go to the reception, one thing I can tell you, don't quit at reception. Just don't because you'll regret it. If you're done with reception and you get to basic training and you realize this is not for you, go through the whole red phase. And then if you feel like it really isn't for you, then go to your drill sergeant and be like, hey, drill sergeant, this is not what I want to do. I've gone through the whole red phase and I really feel like this isn't for me and then whatever steps that happens next it happens but i can tell you don't quit at reception don't quit the first week of red face finish red face out and figure out if it's for you or not but i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up just a little thing that i wanted to share with you guys because i know what happens i know people rethink a lot of things in reception i know people rethink a lot of things at red face and it gets very tough at times and you think in the beginning when you're signing up 10 weeks isn't bad and then you get there and you're like 10 weeks is a long time but i can tell you 10 weeks happens whether or not you go through basic training or whether or not you quit so might as well just go through 10 weeks push through it and then become a soldier and be proud of yourself i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you guys next see you on the flip side